Hey broomheads, I've got another Degrassi video today and this is gonna be my least favorite episodes of The Next Generation, part one of two. This video I think was requested at some point and these episode videos are kind of hard for me because usually I don't take issue with specific episodes as much as I take issue with a, like certain plot lines, but I did my best. I actually found it quite easier picking out least favorites than I did picking out favorites. That's why we have this in two parts. I don't know, I guess this is a the show we all love to hate, am I right? Season one, it's perfect. I don't have any least favorite episodes from season one. So we'll kick off with least favorite episode number one. Season 2, Episodes 12 and 13, White Wedding, aka the sloppiest wedding in the world. Here's the synopsis from the internet. Emma and their old friends. Emma and their old friends. Whoever wrote all these, I'm sorry if you're watching. Whoever wrote all of these, it's very awkwardly worded. <laughs> so that's why I'm struggling. Emma and their old friends prepare for Snake and Spike's wedding, but nothing seems to be going right at all. After finding out that Snake doesn't want to have children, seems like a conversation you'd have before you got married. Um, after finding out that Snake doesn't want to have children, she is... I'm sorry. I'm taking so much issue with the way this is written, but I'm just going to read it, okay? I'm just going to read it. I'm not saying I agree with it. After finding out that Snake doesn't want to have children, she is later surprised to find out she is pregnant and contemplates getting an abortion in order to salvage the relationship. Meanwhile, Emma is having the worst hair day ever and grows more upset when Manny invites Sean to the wedding when she had specifically said he wasn't someone to invite. What the? Also, JT and Toby went to see the stripper at Mr. Simpson's bachelor party, which gets them both in a heap of trouble. This episode... It's the first Degrassi episode I ever saw in my life, so it does have a special place in my heart. However, it's just really, it's really disappointing. I think this is a moment for all of us, you know, Snake and Spike getting married, and it should have been something fun and beautiful and special, but instead, it, the whole thing is just horrendous. It's unpleasant and uncomfortable. Emma's hair looks like crap. Spike is so whiny the pregnancy the abortion the stress the fighting for the the fighting between the snake and spike is not it's an uncharacteristic and they both get married in ugly clothes and i i just hate it nothing about this episode is fun time except maybe the strange disney channel kiss that sean and emma share at the end oh yeah and the per perversion of Craig and Toby and JT and like Snake having a stripper forced upon him. All of this, it's just uncomfortable and not fun and not cute. And it should have been special for us. And it wasn't. Okay, least favorite episode number two. Season three, episode 11, Holiday. A.K.A. the Christmas episode where the cheaters get what they deserve. All right, here's this beautiful thing that this internet person wrote. With Christmas rapidly approaching, Craig finds himself slowly losing interest in Ashley while continuing to cheat on her with Manny, who soon has become a comfort for him. Craig doesn't know whom he wants to be with more and continues to see them both behind each other's back while also accepting the risk of losing both of them. <laughs> Meanwhile, Joey and Sydney find themselves getting increasingly serious. But Sydney's jealousy comes out when Joy begins spending a lot of time with Caitlin, who begins to develop feelings for him! Okay, this episode is another uncomfortable one. Craig is juggling Ashley and Manny, and he's starting to act pretty cocky, and it's just, it just really annoying. That ruined Craig for me. Like, no. No. I know it was, like, really shocking when he cheated on Ashley, but this, like, him being... about it, it honey no i mean it's just like how joey was actually we have a really great example of the random short-lived disappearing hobbies like manny and ice skating and we have joey who gives this tmi speech to craig about his own cheating experience however however he's giving this example 
like right after he cheated on Sydney with Caitlyn. Yeah, it was just a kiss. But that's still cheating. And he is in no position to be giving any kind of lessons about cheating. He's right in the middle of a cheat himself. Anyway, and then this is also the episode where Joey and Sydney break up, which is really sad because I love Sydney. And yeah, sure, Joey doesn't deserve Sydney, but I really like how she just brought like balance and stability to that weird ass family. And like, I just, I just love Sydney. And <laughs> what are you thinking, Joey? Also in this episode, Ashley gives Craig that guitar. No, don't do that stuff. No. And it feels kind of weird watching this episode any time of year besides Christmas. Is that just me? Just one more thing that I want to point out. Mania like loved Craig and she thought she could like seduce him physically into loving her emotionally. And it like worked because at first he was like, nah, 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 nah. And then he's like, I love you, Manny. <laughs> what? What message is this sending that you can really seduce someone into loving you? <sighs> Least favorite episode number three. Season four, episodes 11 and 12, Voices Carry, AKA the spray tan and the breakdown. In the words of this Wikipedia poet, Ashley's dad's wedding has arrived and she reconciles her relationship with Craig by losing her. <clears throat> this is not, <sighs> these, are, these are terrible. I'm sorry, I should have read them better before I decided I was gonna put them in this video. And she reconciles <laughs> her relationship with Craig by losing her virginity to him. Afterwards, Ashley is rubbed the wrong way when Craig exhibits less than normal behavior. Meanwhile, JT and Liberty work together to put on a play in order to raise school spirits. This is the episode... <laughs> this is the episode where JT and Liberty kiss, too. Isn't that so gross? Ashley and Craig, I mean, first of all, she took him back, which is absolutely illogical and ridiculous. And so they decide, like, we're gonna, we're gonna get a hotel room to be alone. <laughs> what else would you do alone in a hotel room? Anyway, so they get up in there, and, <laughs> and this is the episode where Ashley spreads her legs and says, let's do it. It's, it's so bad. Who let that happen? Oh, and furthermore, then Craig hops on the bed and pulls out like 50 condoms and says, never again will I be without. <laughs> no, I would be like, you know what? Never mind. No, this is not happening. Get out, get out of here, get out. That would turn me off immediately. Yeah, sure. Um, while I'm offering to do it with you, why don't you go ahead and refer back to the last time you did it? I think Craig's bipolar, it's a good topic to be discussed. And I'm not, I can't speak on whether they presented it well or not. The, the hotel destruction thing was a, really a cool scene. Actually, that was like the preview. I can't remember if it was the preview for the season or the preview for that particular episode, but they just showed Craig like destroying the hotel room. And they showed, no, what did, I think maybe they showed him like sitting in the destroyed hotel room, like while the phone is just ringing, ringing, ringing. Either way, we were like, what? Anyway, so it's still stressful. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot to handle in this episode. And when I think of this episode, I think of the wedding. I think of Ashley's terrible orange tan next to Craig's translucent paleness um, Ashley's hair and dress were just really bad and Craig ruins the wedding and, and I guess I hate these weddings that get ruined episodes because that's what I keep pointing out I just don't I don't like weddings to be ruined least favorite episode number four season four episode 13 bark at the moon <laughs> aka <laughs> Manny and Chester forever Manny is attracted to Chester a new guy at school, and soon wonders if Spinner is the right guy for her. Meanwhile, Paige tries to get partnered up with Mr. Oleander, and it seems he's also interested in her. Okay, this isn't the worst episode ever. I kind of like the Paige and Mr. O 
storyline, but I hate Spider and Manny as a couple. Come on. This would never happen. This would never happen. And that's probably why she didn't really want to be his, his girlfriend. But I really hate Chester, and they came in hard with him. They, like, made him act like he was going to be one of the main cast. And they were just, like, getting us acquainted, you know, like, hardcore. I don't know. Manny's just so thirsty and sketchy. And, like, what? why are we even watching this thing with Chester? Like, he's nothing. He's nobody. He, he's just about to be gone. Like, what are we doing? We're wasting our time. Also in this episode, Mr. Radich gets fired, aka transferred to another school. I should make a video about this, but a lot of people just think Mr. Radich is bad. He's just not a good teacher, not a good guy. That might be true. That might be true. But Mr. Radich has been there since 1987. He, or yeah, I think it's 87. Like he's been there the whole time. He's a staple. He's a Degrassi staple. And just like him leaving is the end of a chapter. So. That's another thing to note about that episode. And then like the whole Manny and Spinner like having that little moment on the sidewalk. It's just like, promise me you'll never hurt me. Whatever even happened to, the, like, what even became that relationship? Nobody knows. It was this episode just gave us a bunch of like throwaway content, throwaway plots. Gosh, I'm only on number five. Least favorite episode number five, season four, episode 21 and 22, going down the road. AKA Kevin Smith hijacks Degrassi. Degrassi goes into chaos as Kevin Smith prepares to film the new Jay and Silent Bob movie there. Craig grows upset when Ashley prepares to go to London for the summer. And Caitlin begins spending a lot of time with Kevin and doubting her relationship with Joey. Off his bipolar medication getting out of control, Craig disappears into the streets where he finds himself in trouble and it's up to Joey to save him. Meanwhile, Joey attempts to save his relationship with Caitlin when Caitlin begins spending more time with Kevin. Okay, why does Kevin Smith literally come up in here and literally change the Degrassi timeline? Caitlin would never kiss him. We know that. Do you know why it happened? Because that's Kevin Smith's personal fantasy. That's what Kevin Smith has always wanted to happen since he first laid eyes on her in Degrassi Junior High. So he came on to Degrassi and wrote it in to Degrassi. However, I do, I would rather Caitlin be with Kevin Smith than Joey. I, I just find it like you, he's been a long time fan of the show. You're really going to insert yourself into the show and change the course of lots and lots of lives. <laughs> okay. And the other plot is Craig, um, having an episode, uh, running away, and, and I really don't like when he gets beat up and his guitar gets taken. That's terrible. Oh yeah, and Ashley's like, um, bye Craig. I'm actually going to London because I hate you. I also wanted to mention that this show at this point is kind of losing um, its relatability, perhaps to a whole new level. So, you know, no celebrities come to our high school and film a movie there and cast us in it. Like, it's getting kind of far-fetched at this point, but still watchable. Least favorite episode number six, season five, episodes one and two, Venus, AKA high school boob jobs. <clears throat> In her pursuit to become a Hollywood actress, Manny contemplates getting plastic surgery after casting agent criticizes her weight and it doesn't sit well with her appearance. Meanwhile, it's Craig's birthday and Ellie decides to hide the fact that Ashley has a new boyfriend and is staying in London. And then like part two. When Manny rejects him, Peter shows the video of Manny flashing her breasts to the entire student body, which causes her whole life to fall apart. Meanwhile, Ellie and Craig are still mad at each other, but later form a connection. <laughs> when she becomes downtown Sasquatch's new drummer. Okay. Mm. Ellie, <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen that I... I hate Ellie as a drummer. Nobody's buying that. Nobody's buying that. Please stop it. Even when she says the word drum or drummed, I'm just like, you've never said that word before. <laughs> it's just so bad. I don't like season five Ellie. Like that's what, when I stop liking her um, because she's no fun and all she cares about is stupid Craig. Also, like I know this episode is 
iconic, right? It has to do, I'm gonna be famous! Like, yeah, it, it's a Manny moment, right? But what is happening? This is, this is high school. Why are we doing this, like, boob job thing? This plastic surgery thing? This is, see, this is the relatability that we are just, it's just flying out the window. The relatability is being sucked out like a liposuction machine. And Emma's just like suddenly acting like a completely different person. I, I don't know, this is not, this is not it. No. I forgot to mention a pet peeve of Venus. How many times are Craig and Ellie gonna say, we hung out all summer? We hung out all summer, we hung out all summer. There's a lot more I could say, but gosh, we have to keep moving. Least favorite episode, number seven. Season five, episode six. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. AKA, I'm doing stuff I don't like. At his father's urging, Jimmy tries out for the National Wheelchair Sports Association's junior basketball team, even though he wants to concentrate on his art. Meanwhile, Liberty and JT attempt to keep Danny from telling their parents about the baby. Okay. This has made me realize that Jimmy, Jimmy doesn't star, he doesn't like have his own episode until after the shooting. He's never like the main character of an episode, which is, is that right? Anyway, I just don't like this. Like I don't like the, the pressure that he's under to like play that sport that he doesn't like and just like, why, why are we, why is this happening? And then, Ellie decides to infiltrate his life. She really does lead him on. I mean, he was right to think that. Why why is she acting like all nice to him? Like what? Does she feel sorry for him or something? Like, what is she's all like, oh, Jimmy, I'll teach you the ways of the world. Come on, Jimmy, I'll get you cultured. Come on, Jimmy. There's so much better stuff out there than sports. I don't know. I hate the Ellie and Jimmy friendship. But like I said, I don't really like um, Ellie at this point, please don't come for me, okay? Please don't. <laughs> Lee's favorite episode, number eight. Season six, episode three. True Colors, AKA Relatable Problems. Due to Jay's pleas, Emma visits Sean in jail where she realizes that he is in a lot of pain and does everything she can to help him out. Meanwhile, Ellie is devastated to discover that the first newspaper article she has written has been rejected. First of all, that is not, that is not what happened. She was not devastated. She was annoyed. She was annoyed. She was like, what? What do you mean? Man, this sucks. I had to do research in a beer bong puddle. And that's it. And then she and Jesse become boyfriend, girlfriend, which I hate relationships that are formed on like someone being mean to someone else. I don't like seeing that happen. I think that's reinforcing bad behavior for the viewers. So Joey's like a total asshole and Ellie's like hee 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 hee. And what? Okay. So they're together and I think that's gross. And then meanwhile, like, it's like we're in a soap opera where Emma goes to visit Sean and she's like, oh, wait, I like you after all. I feel bad after all. And like, what do you, why? Why are high schoolers in jail? I mean, I know high schoolers go to jail, but like, have you ever visited your friend in jail in high school and like raised money to get him? Maybe you have, I, I, I'm pretty sheltered. So therefore, I can't relate to this episode. <laughs> Least favorite episode, number nine. I know, I know you guys will agree with me. Do you hear that my voice is going out? Because I don't talk like ever. Season six, episode seven. Working for the weekend, AKA a teenage owned business. Spinner is upset over the results of his aptitude test. <laughs> and when Jimmy decides to design and sh shell, design and sell t-shirts, they go into a business. <laughs> oh God, I can't read anymore. They go into business and open a store. Meanwhile, Alex returns to Degrassi to get more credits, but her bullying comes, her bullying past comes back to haunt her. 
Okay, I know I'm calling this a teenage-owned business, but as we know, Ashley, Jimmy, and Spinner are all about 25 right now, and they all have their own special reasons for still being in high school. Same with Alex. Anyway, this whole t-shirt business thing, it's so stupid. Why is this happening? We can't relate to this. Nobody cares about this. How did you open a business without a license? Please tell me. What am I supposed to be getting from this? And the other plot, like, I hate this B plot. I hate it. With Alex and the carrots and that girl. Just, mm, I don't understand why that happened either. I just, I think I hate that girl, Sari, Sarita or Serena or whatever her name is. She's just as bad as Alex. Least favorite episode number 10 and the last one for this video. Season six, episode eight. Crazy little thing called love, aka the Puritan of Degrassi. Sean finally gets out of jail and reunites with Emma, thinking that he has the perfect girlfriend, but he soon realizes that she isn't as innocent as she seems when he finds out what she did with Jay last year. Meanwhile, Derek has a problem <laughs> when Mr. Perino begins bullying him and Danny. This episode really annoys me. Okay, Sean. Okay, Sean, are you telling me you've never been with someone else? Are you telling me you've never kissed Someone else? Are you telling me you've never done something with someone else? What did you expect Emma to be doing? Nothing? This is another video I want to make. All the reasons why Sean Cameron is a bad boyfriend. That shit starts in, in season one. Okay. I've got a list. Anyway, it's so, it's so stupid. Get with the program, Sean. Welcome to life. Like, I'm pretty sure that there will be more times where you and your friend have been involved with the same person. It just is something that happens. You're going to have to get over it. Girls do things just like boys turn it off. The camera turned off. I'm not sure where it cut me off. <sighs> but I was on a roll. I don't understand wh why Sean is obsessed with having a, a pure girl. Because uh, he sure wasn't always going for him. Like Amy. Look, no judgment. But like, what, what do you want, Sean? What do you want? You want a, a girl who's never held hands with somebody? I just don't like that. I don't understand. Um, I guess that they just like, <laughs> it's just weird. Cause like when you're an adult, that stuff, that whole situation wouldn't matter. So it's hard for me to relate at this point, I guess. Oh, and the other plot is Perino bullying Derek and Danny. Okay, so. I understand his motivations, okay, because those two really, really suck. I hate him. I end up liking Danny once Derek goes away. I mean, I understand. But, and Perino does, like, his actor does pull off the mean teacher kind of vibe. But I just wish that they didn't make Perino into having, like, this evil moment. I wish he wasn't, like, so inappropriate because... Again, Perino has a special place in our hearts too, especially because he appeared in Degrassi Junior High. Yeah, that was not the best plot line either. But it is something that happens. I can relate to that. I had a bully of a teacher as well. But anyway, enough about me. That wraps up the first part of this two-part video, my least favorite episodes of Degrassi The Next Generation. Please don't come to me. Please don't be mad. Okay, we're allowed to have different opinions, but feel free to agree or disagree with me in the comments. Um, also, check me out on Instagram. That's where I post all the like fashion of Degrassi. And I also have a website, broomheads.com. And that is all. We'll see you in, the, in part two. <laughs>